folklore would not be complete without mentioning some of the symbols common to the Native American tribes which inhabit the USA. These are not tall tales, but animal symbols, which were used to portray certain characteristics. The turtle represents the heart of the soul, the keeper of life, and the symbol for women. For your maraca, you will need a plaster tape roll, a three-inch hexagon paper mache box, acrylic paint, varnish, wood circles, a wood dowel, mini candle cups, a ball knob, pony beads, jute cord, jingle bells, feathers, and dried peas or beans, glue, paintbrush, and scissors. Val is ready to make some music. Let's take a look at our finished project. It's a maraca, a turtle maraca. And it, they're really going to be easy to make, so let me show you how it's done. First, you'll need to get a paper mache box that has six sides, a hexagon. Put a hole very carefully with scissors in one uh, straight side. Just make a hole there big enough for a dowel to fit through. Slide your dowel in and all the way up to the other edge, putting glue at that edge and around the hole. Set that aside and let it dry. I have one already that has been glued in place. Inside that, put about, oh, seven or eight beans. A maraca is a um, rhythmic instrument, and the beans help make the noise that you need for the instrument. Now, in order to be able to paint on this, I'm going to use some plaster strips and just soak them in water till they're soft and pliable, and then just add them right to the box. Now, in putting these on, the purpose is to give you a nice surface to work on, but also to hold the top and the bottom of the box together. So you're going to build these strips around the outside edge and around the top and bottom to hold them all to hold it, the box together. And try to smooth out those edges. I got a crinkle there, so smooth that out. Smooth them out so you have a nice surface to paint on. Let's put one more on. And keep doing this until you have both front, bottom, and all the sides done. So you're going to cover completely the box, making sure that you've come over the edge where the top and the sides of the box join. Now, I have one that already is uh, finished. Let me wipe my hands off here and we can paint. Move these out of the way. When it dries, it hardens, so you get a nice surface to paint on. Now I'm going to paint the base of my box, my maraca, in a blue. You see maracas a lot in the southwestern part of the country. So paint your entire box blue. And then when that's painted, set it aside to dry. You may at that time also want to paint the handle, and it could be blue or it could be one of the other colors. Here I've got one started, and I painted this handle black. Now we're going to put the decorations on. Using some round wood pieces, paint them whatever colors you choose. I've got Black, uh, red ones with black edges and a yellow one in the center. When these are all painted, glue them in place. Put five red ones on the outside edge and the yellow one in the center. Now you'll need, because this is a turtle maraca, you'll need a head and the legs. So use a round ball and then the little pot-shaped balls, and I've painted those black already. Glue those in place. The head goes at the top opposite where you have your handle, and then the legs go on each of the two sides on the right and the two sides on the left. Glue those in place. Use a little bit of paint in white with your paint handle and put two eyes on there. 
Now, when you're all finished, take a um, piece, a 12 inch piece of twine, tie it together around the top, and add your pony beads and feathers. Let's take a look at the finished piece and you can see how I've decorated it with the beads and feathers. Now let's go see what Kathy has in store.